Hi, Scorpio. It's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Scorpio, this is going to be your own reading today. It could be about somebody else, of course, right? Because we are warm creatures and we need other people. Yeah, we do. Uh, they know all. They know that. This is why they are creating this uh, distance. Yes, physical and emotional, social, etc. <laughs> so, but let's get into this reading. <coughs> Scorpio, today we're going to use the Housewife's deck. <coughs> because we haven't been cleaning, so we feel difficult. We feel uh, we feel guilty. So we have to use the housewife's deck because we didn't clean our house. The temple path. I feel like you get this card a lot. So you you could totally be on a temple path because you are the the high priestess, right? You are the all knowing, intuitive, higher consciousness. Financial constraints, um, maybe you're worried about that. Maybe you don't really have it, right? This is how we try to look at things a little bit a little bit more um, kind of, what's the word? Positive. Let's see what else we have for you, Scorpio. And the card of the outsider, misfit, loner, and wanderer. So maybe you feel like an outsider, right, to in a situation, but or maybe a loner, but somebody could be a wanderer here, and a wanderer is... There could be an outsider, right? Or this could be a wanderer. And a wanderer is somebody you kind of really can't count on. No, you can't count on them because they wander all over the place. Could be wandering physically, emotionally, uh, right? Could be many, many things. Let's see what else we have for you, Scorpio. Let's have a look at one of these success cards. Let's see what we got here for Scorpio. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. And we have Balance Yourself. All right, maybe you feel like you're walking a tightrope. That's what the man's doing, uh, but he's doing it pretty well here. But, you know, it's not that easy. No, it's not. And we also have the rose and the sword. The rose and the sword is about, I feel like it's about kind of a beginning and an ending or somebody may be taking their power. Let's have a look at the rose and the sword here. This is a particular deck because I haven't seen that card in eons. Yeah. It doesn't always mean the same thing. It is kind of a common expression, the rose and the sword, uh, or about a common theme, but it's not always exact. Man and women are two parts of one whole. Their world should be one too, and they should divide between them all qualities so that no one is labeled female or male. Osho, okay, whoever Osho, probably a Japanese man. And then we have some qualities have a feminine feeling, love, compassion, sympathy, then there are male qualities, courage, strength, steadfastness. Until now, they have been separate dimensions, and this is a great pity. The rose and the sword talks about combining these, right? Because the rose is the feminine energy, and the sword is the masculine energy here, combining them for success, right? Or something like that, right? And balance yourself. I just feel like you're going through something a little hard here, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you. And the Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. The Two of Wands is your highest expectation. Mm -hmm. Coming into play. You're dealing with somebody who's kind of like a player here or a wanderer type. The Magician is coming into play or unfolding for you. And this is like, uh, you're dealing with somebody who is, maybe they're pulling some type of trick here. But uh, long story short, it is just somebody who is a kind of a player. And let's see, and let me grab this water, you guys, because I have some type of juice here that I'm not digging on. So let's see what we got good. So let's see. And so the Ace of Wands, Scorpio, showing up. This is a, a new beginning, it is. Uh, and then you have the Two of Swords. So, you know, I feel like you are having a hard time with... Uh, with either having a new beginning with somebody, right? This King of Pentacles, probably Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Possibly Aries, the Magician, and chari the Chariot could be Cancer. I think you feel like somebody's been, kind of been playing you here. That's what I think here with this Wanderer card. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like you are doing the best here to maybe combine your... Just balance, right? The balance yourself card next to the rose and the sword. You're trying to use all your all your great ammo, right? Which could be, you know, feminine and masculine energy both. 
Let's see why the Ace of Wands is there for you with the Seven of Pentacles. You have this Two of Swords. This is conflict. I feel like you're in conflict about somebody. Uh, definitely opposing views. Like they're doing something you don't want or you don't like. And so this person, I feel like either you or somebody here, uh, we're going to tell the story where you could switch it, right? But somebody here has planted seeds with somebody and they want a new beginning. And I feel like you are in conflict about that. The moon card, you could be using your intuition. You are, you're either dreaming about it. Uh, you understand because the temple path was your first card. And, you know, Scorpio, you, as I said, you are the high priestess. You are also the queen of cups. She is uh, the queen of intuition and creativity and love, I feel like. And let's see what else we have here. Now, uh, the two of wands with the ace of cups. This is your highest expectation. In other words, this is what, like, you were expecting uh, in any event, right? Yeah, whatever happens, you think there's going to be a new beginning in love. And the two of wands, you're at a crossroads about it. You think your person has a new beginning with somebody. Yeah, this is it. And your past energies are about Virgo, I believe, the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. Maybe for another Scorpio, it's somebody else. But your past energies, uh, this is all about the other person. Temperance, maybe they are dealing with Sagittarius. Maybe this is your person. But your past energies are about some type of balance here. Maybe that's why you have balance yourself. Six of Cups. Your person has uh, somebody from the past here, the Six of Cups and Temperance. And the King of Pentacles, uh, this Six of Cups is, you know, about an old flame. Yeah, and you've, like, you've already figured this out. That's why these energies are, like, of the past. That's kind of what those are, past energies. The Magician is coming into play with the Five of Swords. So you could be, like, feel, you could feel like you are kind of, like, cornered in, kind of, like, dealing with some type of kind of energy that is, uh... I just feel like you feel limited, the Five of Swords. Let's see what they say about it. Mm -hmm. It can be realizing, accepting limitations, realism, and time management. Okay, so <clears throat> this is coming into play. I feel like you are accepting this situation. Yeah, you're in your reality here about this person. It's not so much about time management here. This is about your reality. You're accepting that this person is kind of a player, the magician. You're, you feel maybe that this person has sold you some type of a, kind of a pipe dream, right? Maybe they told you we're going to be together till the wheels fall off, something like that. You could be thinking that all they did was lie and bullshit me. You could. Let's get another card about what's coming into play or unfolding judgment. Mm -hmm. This could be accepting. This could be harsh criticism. Maybe you are criticizing this person because they have been kind of a player, <clears throat> right? You could, um, you could, I feel like you are, maybe, maybe they are criticizing you. I don't, I don't think so, but it's a possibility here. Uh, let's look at that judgment card where the lady is a, a ribeye steak and she thinks people are judging her because she's overweight, something like that. She's on the scale. Assessment, acceptance, and harsh criticism. I feel like you are accepting this. And this is like a, for you, you're accepting this, but this is a, you could be criticizing them, but you're accepting this and uh, as you're kind of, with the five of swords, you're accepting this as your reality. Like that that's how this person is. Maybe you didn't really see them for who they were in the past. That's kind of how this reading looks here. So how the Seven of Wands is coming soon. These are challenges. The Page of Wands, somebody who is curious and imaginative. Mm -hmm. The Star card. I feel like you're dealing with somebody here who is like, this is somebody who is mischievous too. It is. You're dealing with somebody who's kind of a rebel type. Um, yeah, they're a little bit of a rebel or a little bit of a player here. And you're dealing, this is upcoming challenges with them. And they are like, you know, they have, for, for me, your person, this Ace of Cups and the Star, they have some new beginning with somebody. And I feel like you're accepting it down here. But over here, the, the challenges are coming. Yeah, and I don't know exactly what that means, right? Uh, the King of Swords with the Six of Swords, this is how they are affecting you. 
<clears throat> people could be gossiping about you and this person. <clears throat> and this could be how they are affecting you because they're a backstabber. The Six of Swords. <clears throat> oh, this is not the Seven of Swords. No, this is not. This is the Six of Swords. I beg your pardon. This card is somebody who is leaving and she's waving goodbye with her tote bag here. This is how they are affecting you. This person is leaving you. They made a decision. And this person could have been, it made you feel like they were really stubborn. Sometimes this King of Swords over here is stubborn. It can be about somebody who's already made a decision. And coming with the Six of Swords, this is they've, they've already made a dec decision to walk away. How you are affecting them, you could be affecting them, making them like think that they're taking a risk here, right? This is the Chariot card. It is about movement and a risk. The Two of Cups. I feel like you are. You could be putting doubts in their mind, maybe. This could be saying you are kind of encouraging them as well, maybe to, uh, like in a in a weird way, like not encouraging them, but like this could be just be saying that they are kind of taking this risk, and that you are part of the. You are one of these three people. The Two of Cups, the Fool card. This is how you are affecting them. Mm, I feel like you are putting doubt, maybe, uh, because we have the risk right here on the Chariot card. Like, you're kind of making them think that they're taking a chance that they might not win at. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is your hopes and fears. This is the person that you love, I believe. The King. Where's the King? Is he here? Yeah, he's over here. And here we have the Five of Pentacles. You're fearing financial loss. For the most part, that's what this card is talking about. We're going to go to the extended Scorpio, and we're going to see all about this person. Yeah, this outsider, <clears throat> this kind of wanderer person. Mm -hmm. Feel free to switch this reading, right? But um, we have the financial constraints card. Yeah, you're a little bit concerned about money. Uh, but let's see what happens. Let's, let's look at their energy. I really want to see their energy, and we're going to see the underlying issues or the situation between you both. We're going to see how they feel about you, what's crowning their thoughts, like what's on their mind, of course, and their near future. This could be their current energy is what I like to call that. Uh, and we are going to see their environment, physical or emotional, what they could be hiding from you, Scorpio, and uh, their outcome. They're all super affordable. And thank you so much for joining me here, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.